Hi, everyone. Uh, I just wanted to take a minute to talk about an issue we're getting a lot of calls on lately. And this is about doing extra work outside of what is in your contract, working for other places. Okay. So when you're hired as a public school teacher, you're considered a public servant. And this type of employee, uh, whether Korean or foreign, um, can never do any other type of paid work outside of what their job is. And this is written directly in the contract. If we look at Article 17.4 here, you can see employees shall not engage in any other opportunities that result in financial gain. Obviously, this is an area of contention, especially with the lack of pay raise, the cost of living going up, um, a lot of issues. Why can't you do other work um, if it doesn't affect your current job? But this is the kind of archaic mentality or the way that they still have a belief that the employer almost owns you. Um, they're going to do the best to protect you and support you as long as you give them 100%. Uh, an outdated mentality, but this is the way it is, and this is the contract um, for us, unfortunately, and it's right there, the employee shall not engage any other opportunities that result in financial gain. So anyone who is, you know, caught doing extra work can be released for, for that reason because it is part of the contract. Now, there is some confusion because um, you can also look at Article 6, the workplace employee shall work at any locations operated by the employer, including schools, provincial, or local office of education training centers, blah, blah, blah. This gives the employer um, the ability to place you at other places that are run by the employer. And for you, the superintendent is your employer. So any school or training facility or anything that falls under the superintendent, you can be worked there or you can legally work there as long as it's cleared through principal um, or local office. You'll see sometimes I will advertise for an opportunity and I need people to help with this and you'll get paid, but these are all sanctioned through the superintendent, and that's why you can't do them. So other things, the common one would be your travel school, or sometimes there's an evening class at a local office of education, uh, or some class put on by that local office, office of education that you can do. However, anything not organized through the school board, you cannot work for. Uh, I think the recent calls, one was the church, Another one was a, a library, a city library, although government, it is not run through the Office of Education. So both of those you would not be able to work at, okay? Now, this, this is the first thing to think about is the contract. If we look back at Article 17, um, you cannot work for anyone else in simple terms. So the second problem with this for people on an E-2 visa is that um, immigration has really strict rules about what work you can do on that education visa. For example, our office does a lot of multicultural programs, but we can't hire someone to work in a multicultural program on an E-2 visa because they're only hired for education. And they're seeing, even though it's an educational multicultural program, as a distinct difference. So we would have to call it an English program to have someone on an E-2 visa working. So immigration could actually also deport someone found doing extra work outside of their E-2 visa. I think another important area to talk about is about the F visa people, because a lot of F visa people think that, oh, I have my F visa now, um, I can now do additional work inside of, of my uh, contract. But that's not true. In terms of immigration, yes. They can because they wouldn't be deported um, and immigration can't do anything when they're on an F visa, it's a different visa. But again, you're still that public servant and as a public servant, you cannot do extra work outside of your contract. So that employer could release someone for doing extra work on an F visa, even though that work was legal under immigration. So that is kind of an area that you have to be 
cautious of all sorts around an FD stuff. Anyway, this is uh, just about extra work. So if anyone has any questions, uh, comments, feel free to add them here or email me or wherever, and uh, I'll try to address them. Mm -hmm.